Now, the past year, we shared special coverage on the Rock Island Arsenal and the impact women had on the military post. It starts with the number of women working on the Arsenal. Before World War I, women made up about 10 to 15 percent of the workforce. Then by 1945, that number increased to about 38 percent. Today, the Arsenal's workforce is about half men and half women, and the work women did over time changed as well. Well, let's talk World War I. So women during World War I, a lot of the time it was the first time they were, they were having a job outside of the home. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of the time you see a rise of something that we take for granted today, but that's largely independent women. So getting jobs, making money, living on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, really, it was, it was their ability to come and work at a place like the Arsenal that really allowed them to do that sort of thing. Uh, World War II was no different. Uh, what you do see during World War II, though, is a, is a major shift in the kind of work women are doing. So they're coming into the workforce here at the Arsenal, and instead of working clerical positions or things like that, they're, um, you know, they're taking on leadership positions at the Arsenal. They're, they're doing manufacturing work that up until that point was largely considered men's work here at the Arsenal. And so, you know, you're almost breaking a glass ceiling in a way. Uh, the, uh, the broaching process. And so in building 68% of that work was strict. Now there is much more that we covered. You can see the 22 minute special streaming now on WQAD's Roku and Fire TV channels, as well as on the WQAD YouTube page.